Good morning, beloved. Today is the 30th of June 2022, and I come your way with the last of the series that we started this month on over walking as an overcomer. And um, for today, I want to talk about overcoming temptations. It is important that as a child of God, you know the place of temptation in your life and the knowledge and the wisdom of how to to overcome it. Because temptations are, as it were, part and parcel of the call that we've, we've been called into. Even our master Jesus was tempted. The Bible says he was he was taken to a place to be tempted of the devil. So temptations are a part of the walk. Okay. What you should know is how to deal with it. How to deal with it. In first Corinthians chapter ten, verse thirteen, we are told that there had not they had no temptation taking you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be, ye may be able to bear it. You see, here the Bible tells us that anything that we have ever gone to that we thought was a huge temptation or was a temptation that nobody else had <laughs> had gone through is actually not correct that it is something that is common to everybody mm-hmm. so it is common to everybody but how you 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 deal with it is what differentiates you from your neighbor you see, who struggles with it and who is not able to walk as God expects of them. Okay, God, he says, God is faithful and he will not suffer us to be tempted above our capabilities, hmm? above what we can do. So that also means that anything that you are going through means that God has prepared you for it. Hmm? God has prepared you for it. As to whether you are able to recognize this is another matter, but the thing will not come your way except God has prepared you for it, or God has has given you an escape, a venue of escape, and perhaps you are not even willing to see it, or perhaps not willing to take advantage of it. You see, God is faithful. That is what He's saying. So the first thing you have in mind when we are, whenever we are being tempted is that God is faithful. He is faithful. We shouldn't get to the point where the slightest temptation in our way then we are already, you know, cursing God in our heart and worrying and, you know, be, being anxious. The Bible says fear doesn't come from God. So if the temptation puts the fear in you, clearly you know what spirit you are dealing with. Okay, no temptation is is is, uh, is is different from that which is common to all men. I mean, that's what the Bible tells us. Hmm? We should rely on God to provide a way of escape so that we'll be able to bear it. All right? We will also see it in scripture in James, book of James chapter 1, verse 12 to 15. And he says, Blessed is the man that endured temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Hmm? Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. (laughs) 
Then when last has conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. And then finally ends by saying, Do not err, my beloved brethren. So, this one is telling us that if you are able to endure temptation, there's a blessing upon your life. Why? Because when you have been tried, when you have been tried, God will give you the crown of life, which is a promise that is promised to us. Hmm? And that we shouldn't come to the point in our lives where when we are tempted, we say that it is God that is tempting us. <laughs> because God cannot be tempted with evil. And he doesn't tempt any man. God doesn't tempt. You see, the Bible says that the devil came to tempt Jesus. Jesus was taken to the wilderness by the Holy Spirit. And the devil came to tempt him. So God doesn't tempt any man. He doesn't. You see, he says that. But every man is tempted. When he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Sometimes we are not even aware of what is enticing us away from God. Yes, it is subtle. It comes in very subtle ways. Not easily recognized if you are not careful. You love something so much that you are prepared to do anything for it. Or to get it. And then when you are being tempted in the process, you think that it is from God. It is not. It is your own desire to get that thing that you want. Okay, that is leading you away into a path of temptation. A path where the devil can, can come and, and snare your feet. Oh yes. So we should, you see, you see that, God is going prepared to give us a crown of life, okay, which he had promised to them that love him, you see. So once this love begins to wane or begins to be attracted to something else, you see that all kinds of temptations are also possible. Oh, yes. In your, in your subconscious, you are watching these videos online. You think, oh, it's nothing. But it's not nothing. It is working out something in your mind. It's working out something in your mind. If you had not seen that video or what those pictures, you would not be tempted to do what you ended up doing. Oh, yes. You think it's not. It's not nothing. It could be an idle conversation that you have. And then it shows a seed, some seed, you know, for some idea. That you know, we eventually go ahead to prosecute, and then you you realize that you've gone away from the path. It is not God who did it; it is you. Okay, you you are not you are not watchful of the things that go into your mind through your eyes or through your ears. Yes, our eyes and our ears are door doorways, and then sometimes. Uh, some fields are able to enter and then they plant seeds you know and ideas in our minds that eventually lead us away all right so your first your first weapon against temptation is loving god loving god that's what the scripture tells us in verse 12 it says god has prepared a crown of life you know promised it to those that love him and says, love the Lord your God with all your might. Okay? With all your soul. With all your being, everything. Okay, so that, that, is, that is the love that comes, comes towards God and helps us to focus in life and to um, steer our feet away from temptation. If Jesus was tempted, we should be sure that we will also be tempted. We are no, no, no servant is greater than the master. That's what the Bible tells us. So if our master was tempted, we should be sure that we will also, or we will also be tempted. But our ways of overcoming him, overcoming this temptation, is loving God. How do you love God? You love God through knowing him. You know God through his word. Okay? You know God through his word. Get to know God's word. What does God say about you?
about your life, what are his promises towards you. Stick to them. Okay, love his promises, love his word. Okay, be ready to walk in it. And I can assure you that you will overcome every temptation you do. You don't necessarily need anyone to even pray for you. Okay? Just by taking these simple steps, you are ready to overcome or you'll be able to overcome every temptation that comes your way. Because the Bible says that no person has been tempted beyond their means. Okay? It is common to everybody. It is temptation that is common to you. The difference is how you react to it. Let the Lord bless you with His Word. You know, let the Word of God rich, richly dwell in you, so that you be able to overcome every temptation that comes your path. In Jesus' name, Amen.